Good morning, good people, on a wet, dreary Monday morning, but at least it's not snowy and icy anymore. Back to normal here with schools going and up and rolling once again. On January 1st, uh, in my homily that morning, um, I spoke a bit about the need for us going into this year to what I call feed trust instead of feeding fear. So much of the news around us is so dire and the way it's reported makes it just build into and buy into the fear that many people carry naturally anyway. And it just raises it to a new level. And yet for us as people of faith, um, our faith is based on trust. It's based on believing that in even the most challenging of circumstances, God is at work. God has not abandoned us. Um, God has a plan and he's working it out in the midst of those difficulties, not in spite of those difficulties. That's a hard thing for us to trust. Um, it's a hard thing for us to continue to surrender into. But if we're going to feed trust instead of feed the fear, it means that we need to attend ourselves every day. I think it's every day um, at things that build that trust instead of helping us to cave into the fear. The things that came into fear are sometimes negative conversations with people who just get caught in that downward spiral. You and I know people like that. Sometimes we have to limit our contact with that. Uh, limiting contact with the news, which frankly tends to do that for most people. Taking time to focus on trust. On God. You know, the whole Bible, as I mentioned um, Saturday morning early in my homily, it's a Bible, it's a book of trust. It's about trusting in God. And it's about people in oftentimes horrible situations continuing to keep their trust in God. And it's about the promise that God makes that He's faithful in everything, that He is not turning away from us, and that He will not turn away from us. And that even in those situations that looked hopeless, God was working and God brought good out of that. Good people, we can trust in that. Pray, surrender your life to God daily. Read the Bible, I hope daily, um, because it's a book of trust and it helps reinforce that fundamental attitude of believing in God, of faith in God, of surrender to God, and then it allows us to be able to be of use for God, for the people around us, to bring encouragement where needed, kindness, support, positive spirit, certainly in short supply in our world today. So my challenge to you, challenge I'm giving myself, let's feed trust and let's catch ourselves when we're feeding fear and turn that back over and invite Jesus into that so that we can be people of deep and enduring faith. God bless each one of you.